What's poppin' homies? This is your boy Fright Nitty back in the building, back in the sneaker office, back bring you guys a new video, a different video from a different perspective, man. I'm doing a talking head video. That's what they call it, man. That's what the that's what the YouTubers call it. Talking heads where like you just see my frame. But anyways, man, this is still on my genre, right? I'm gonna do a Nike outlet video. But this will be a throwback Nike outlet video, man. I shot this video probably in 2000, not probably, I did. I shot this video. December 17th, my son's birthday, 2015. So that's almost five years ago. And I never posted, never posted to YouTube. I have never edited this video, man. Went through the archives and I found it just sitting there. Now I did put my commentary over it, but that was Rookie Frank, man. So you guys might hear a little bit of my commentary back then. And from the look of things, I was doing the same kind of, you know, commentary back then. So my scheme haven't changed much. Um, just the content, the quality, and so on and so forth. But uh, I'm excited to show it to you, man. And you won't believe the type of shoes I was finding in the outlet back then. Um, we're gonna give it from a different perspective, like from, well, I'm gonna hit every perspective, right? From a reseller perspective, what shoes was worth back then, what they're worth today. You know, from a, a sneaker enthusiast like myself, what I know now, what I caught those shoes back then, that way I can have them and preserve them for today. Um, it's, quite a, it's quite a bit of shoes. I'm like, damn, I wish I had, <laughs> Oh, I wish I had bought them then so I could have them today, man. So we're going to just kind of comb through it, talk about the shoes. I'm going to show you the value of the shoes. Then I'm going to also tell you what those shoes worth today. And um, yeah, that's what we're about to do, man. But uh, first, I got some house cleaning to do, man. I got a task at hand, man. I got to reorg the room. Since I'm doing these talking head videos now, I kind of like this whole frame right here. I like I like this area, man. So I want to kind of change up the scenery a little bit. So I'm going to kind of do some maneuvering around me, particularly behind me. The desk is going to stay where it's at. But behind me, the couch, the drop top, front boxes, um, those going to get rearranged, man. So be patient. Your boy's going to be back, and we'll kick it off with this throwback Nike outlet ball from 2015. Never seen before footage, man. I'm excited to show you guys, man. I hope you guys decide to watch it. All right, see you in a bit. Peace. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap it up right here, man. Yo, it took a minute just to reorganize this whole room. Um, right now, it's not completely finished. It's not the way I would like it. So a few more things I could do and iron out. But nevertheless, man, it was kind of therapeutic for me. You know what I'm saying? I found some clothing that I forgot I had. I purchased. It was sitting in a Nike outlet bag. And I was going through it. I was like, yo, what's this? I throw it away. And I realized, yo, I got a pair of shorts. Um, <laughs> that was crazy, man. And we're back, man. Yo, y'all see it. Room has changed a little bit. Did a little reorg, man. But before I kick into this video, man, I'm going to show you guys my quick uh, pickups. Um, <laughs> it's so funny. I bought these joints last year, man, and I forgot to show them off. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't, but when I was cleaning up, I found them. I totally forgot I had these, man. These are the Air Jordan uh, shorts that I like. Uh, very good material, you know what I'm saying? Sit right above the knee, very comfortable uh, Jordan shorts, man. This is probably the first pickup for 2020, but not really because technically it's a shoe I already have. Let me just show you and explain. I bought these shoes recently. That vid is supposed to come, but you know, in the vid, I already give it away that I'm buying these shoes. But anyways, man, peep the label. These are size 12, my size. And I bought these because they were a lot cheaper than the pair I purchased last year, man. I bought these shoes day one off uh, the sneaker app and I paid 140 plus tax. Um, these are the Air Max 90 uh, Viotex. And I saw them in the outlet and I was like, yo, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cop them if they go down lower. And lo and behold, it did. I was in Levi's, ran into a supporter. Uh, he was, I think his name was Adam. He's like, yo, the shoes that you wanted are in, in the building for $95. And I say, say less. I went there and I picked them up. So I have actually two pairs. My second pair is, I did a whole bunch of rearranging, is inside a closet. So I'm gonna take back the original pair I purchased, that I purchased for 140, get my, my difference back. Actually, I'm getting my whole money back because I got two pairs of this. So essentially I get back $140 and I cop this for 95. Now if they go cheaper than this, best believe, I'm gonna buy me another pair and I'll return this. But anyways, man, Viltec Air Max 90. Lastly, um, I don't know if y'all can tell by the bag, Excuse, um, but the bag do show signs of it. Maybe you're not familiar with the bag. I'm not, because it's the first time I ordered something from them. This is from Urban Outfitters that has a sale going on, and um, I had to cop this, man. Oh, yeah, that's right, I copped two pairs. So, let me sit one here. Urban Outfitters, I bought two of the same product. One size large, and this, yep, this is a size large. That one should be a medium, and yep. So I bought two of the same. These are supposed to be uh, champion hoodies. It should be a hoodie. Yeah, it is a hoodie, man. 
with the champion print on the hoodie and champion print on the sleeve, man. It's not reverse weave like I always mention. This is a lightweight hoodie. Also, you got champion on the side as well. This is look like it's iron on, not iron on, but screen print. I'm gonna customize this hoodie since it's like a golden hoodie and do a little something crazy with it. Um, this is size large. The other joint is a size medium, man, same hoodie. But it was going for $15. These joints was hitting over $30 at one point. I think retail price was like $45, then went to like $30. Then it had additional 50% off, so I picked up two of these, man, from Urban Outfitters. And I think the shipping was free, if I'm not mistaken, man. Uh, does it show a receipt on here? It does not. I can't confirm or deny, but I want to believe it was free shipping or if the shipping was like next to nothing, man. But anyways, two pairs of the same hoodies. And that's pretty much it. Let's go over on the work table, the work desk, the workstation, and get this, uh, this vlog out of here, man. Let me get this up and posted. See y'all in a bit over there. Let's continue this, uh, throwback Nike outlet vlog from 2015. Let's make it. Just got to the Nike outlet. I'll go and see what kind of heat they got. On feet today, I got my uh, fly nets, comfortable shoe. As you can tell, I'm gonna tie my, my sneaks. 3M laces loose in the mug. Look at that. Nike in the building. YouTube's in the building. Right, Nitty's in the building. All right, y'all. So we finally made it over to this table. Y'all see the room has been rearranged. Y'all could tell the drop front boxes is on the against that wall where the couch used to be, and the couch is right behind me, right in front of the TV. But nevertheless, man, let's get into this throwback Nike outlet from 2015. This was shot like around August. 17th, no, no, December 17th, what am I thinking? That's my son's birthday, August 17th is my birthday. So we're gonna plug this in, cause boy, the commentary, my commentary, oh, it's kind of cringy, man. So you might not hear all of it, man. So let's get into it. If I'm looking down, I'm just looking at the, at the video, all right? So we're gonna start it right about now. All right, so I'm just walking in the building. Thank you. Are we unable to do debit or gift cards at this time? It'll probably be inconvenient. Crazy. These are the so Sonic, Sonic Flights, the Gary Paytons. Uh, it was hitting for 60, man. It was a 2014 shoe. Ooh. Uh, these are the Chuck Posit Barclays, man. So we'll pause it right here real quick. Chuck Posit's rather, 119. Yeah, no one <laughs> had a few sizes. So I was even showing sizes back then. 119 is the price. So I'll give you a quick rundown of this shoe real quick. I paused it. Um, these, uh, Nike, these, these, Char these Charles Barkley posits joints, uh, they were, they came out 2015, March 2015. Honestly, I did my research for some of these shoes. Uh, this was going for 230 retail from day one, man. Now, ironically, you can get this shoe way below retail, even Roughly around the same price that you see at the outlet um, showing right now. Let me go ahead and continue it. Uh, right above this is 119. You can get them for 225. No, bo no box. I see that on GOAT. So we're about moving along. LeBron 12s, yo. These are called the flights. They're in for 150. Um, now the reseller price is going for 221 right now for that particular shoe. So we're about to look at some soldiers. These are the soldiers 8. I'm looking down because I'm looking at the video. They're going for 90. Not too much, um, much on the retail. Well, 221 is the last price I saw. So Got the black joints as well. Roughly the same price. $89 all black. Ooh, Mama the Mercurials. CEOs Came out 2015. One of my favorite Colby's, the Colby 10s. Now, pause it real quick. So before we continue and show you the other, um, those are the different size runs. Let me show y'all real quick. So, um, that shoe was retailing for two, what, what else my notes? Uh, $200, man, it came out 2015, September uh, 12, 2015. Um, now, we all know the tragedy with Kobe, so the prices went up. So what I did is I kind of look at the prices before his tragedy and give you guys the norm, what you should normally pay for it. And back then it was like 240. Now they're absurd right now. So I won't recommend anyone buying shoes because they're just trying to 
profit off of you know Kobe's uh, mishap. So just just want to share that with you. You guys go and look if you want to see what the price is going. If you have a pair, um, yeah. But we about to move it on to the Kobe Elite joints. Multiple sizes. They have my size. They do. Um. So that shoe was retailing for what was the retail price for that shoe? I forget. Um, let me just double check. Two hundred nine. Well, outlet retail two hundred nine. Right now, you get that shoe roughly around the same price, around two twenty five. Actually, the last time I saw this price or this shoe sold was uh, it was like one hundred fifty, and that was in two thousand eighteen, two thousand nineteen. So, really, wasn't much love for that particular shoe at the moment, or even now. Now I'm about to show you some Air Max. I know nothing about this shoe. I don't think I did research on this shoe. Nah. Also got that. Um, you can play. You can use this with your iPod. At the time, that's when Apple had that whole Nike. This is a nice jacket. Find me a jacket. I think it's 3M too as well. Price of 210. Woo. For 50 percent off, so about buck ten. World blue joint. Not bad. Not bad. So I'm about to leave here. Listen to my commentary. Didn't see the Chuck Posits. I'm iffy about those. A lot of Kobe's, the Elites, um, the Highs, uh, maybe one LeBron LeBron 12 I saw, two KDs I saw. Um, all in all, mm, wasn't wasn't the best look for that. That was the first one I went to, man. So stay tuned. I got about four more I'm gonna um, check out, um, including another a couple of Clarence. Um, usually the Clarence carry the heat, so let's keep it moving. All right, y'all. So that concludes this Nike outlet video. Um, if y'all hear my commentary, man, I was very low, wasn't confident. Um, didn't know a whole lot, man. I just know I wanted to start recording these videos. I've been visiting the outlet way before YouTube, and um, it wasn't until a few YouTubers I saw that started like making outlet vlogs. And I was like, bro, I already do that. Let me just start recording. So I did a test run. I think this might be it. Um, I found other footage, man, of. Uh, that same day, like I told you, I was gonna visit four. I visited the clearance store and I also visited uh, Vinland. This outlet was um, off International Drive. There's also the premiere outlet, so that was that video. So I got two other throwbacks I can show you along with Adidas, man. I got two throwback Adidas outlet vlogs that I never posted, all captured within the same day in 2015. So it's crazy to see some of these shoes and outlet. And that being said, man, I got some honorable mentions, man. I didn't get no footage, but I got some 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 photos of some other shoes i saw man example being those kobe nine elites those greens with the gold check i saw those joints in the outlet um i believe they were going for let's see if i could bring my my images up i should have had this up off rip so those going for 139 man uh fast forward four years four and a half years later um those because those came out in 2014 uh, they retail for 225 so they're going for what 139 uh the last sold pair on stock x was probably like 100 200 dollars um again that's just my size you can go and check your particular size and again due to the tragedy those prices probably increase so uh take that for what it's worth um uh, another honorable mention that i noticed that i saw was those kd eight and sevens man i do remember that vividly i do remember now seeing those because those sat in the outlet for a good minute nobody want those um, what they went for, man? They were hitting for one. Wow, 199. That's crazy. But they're not selling for much now, man. Um, fast forward four years later, they're not really going for much. Um, they retail for 200 when it first came out around November 2015. Um, another pair of shoes I saw were the KD7 Elites, man. These blue joints. These were dope. Um, obviously, you know, in hindsight, we know what we know now. We probably would have stacked up on those. Uh, those were going for what? $200 when it first came out. They came out May of 2015. Yep, May of 2015. Um, that shoe's another shoe that's not going for much today. You know, it is what it is. Uh, we saw those King Griffey, or what's it called? Air Griffey Mats 2s. They're all red joints. They're called the Cincinnati red joints, man. Um, they were going for, what are they going for? Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, $90. 
$90 for that. Uh, right now, you can buy them on StockX for a good penny, man. I think, uh, but here's the thing, of all, because the StockX wasn't a thing back in 2015, but I saw two pairs sold my size, and it was like buck something, so theoretically, you know, that shoe is still worth some value today, even though I think the only two pairs I saw was back in 2018. Um, yeah, and I don't think any pairs are available now in my size. You can check your size, but not in my size. What else? What else, man? I felt like there was some other shoes. Um, oh, the socks are Nike Shocks NX or I'm sorry, NZ and Turbo. Um, if you look on, if you look at the image on the very top left uh, photo, so I can bring that up here so I can talk about it. Uh, the one with the yellow sticker. Um, what was that going for? That price was uh, zoom in. $89 as well. Uh, that shoe right now is not hitting for much. I couldn't find a turbo joint, uh, to be fair. Let me log back in here real quick. I'm not sure what that shoe is selling for. I don't know. Uh, StockX don't have the majority of these shoes that I found in Nike out in 2015. The, you know, the less common shoes, the Jordans, the Kobe's, the LeBron's, yes, they do. But the other one-offs, they do not. Even though I felt like I saw that shock um in the nike outlet recently i feel like they're restocking them <laughs> from four, four years ago but that's it man i hope you guys enjoyed this video this is a throwback nike outlet video that i shot in 2015. it's crazy to see some of these shoes man man if we know what we know now we probably had a ton of shoes man because who would have foresaw goat stock x uh depends on which side of the fence you're on if you want to be a reseller you want to be a collector uh, if you're collecting shoes now and you look at the prices now you're like damn I should have bought them back then. I would have saved tons of money. If you're a reseller, you could have stocked up on those. Or if you in your, if you have some in your collection, you feel like you want to downsize. You would, whatever you would have cop 2015, 2016 for those prices, you can definitely make your money later. It's almost like stocks in a sense. Hence the reason StockX, uh, go. I don't know the play on words. Grades of all times. I don't know how they want to work that, <laughs> that acronym out. But anyways, I appreciate you guys for pulling up. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you want to see more throwback Nike outlet videos, do hit me up. I got at least three more I can post. If I would have put all this together, it would have been very long. I hope you guys look my, like my pickup in the very beginning. Maybe you saw it, maybe don't. Depends how long this video is. I may remove it from uh, this footage, man. But anyways, I appreciate you guys. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit that notification bell as well. Everybody else, you already know my slogan. Good to go. It's a wrap. We out of here, man. That was a dope video, man. I enjoyed making that.